In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a radiator where the part work needs adjusting. If you replace an old radiator and need to know how to remove it, click the corresponding link on the screen now or in the description below. Once you're ready, you will first need to dress the radiator. Take your radiator valve and apply the PTFE tape. With the PTFE tape, wrap round the tail clockwise about 17 times. Do the same again for the other tail and then remove the rad bung. Screw in the air vents clockwise with your hand and nip them up with a the spanner. Be careful not to over tighten them as you may damage the o-ring. After this, wind in the rad tails clockwise using your adjustable spanner until there's one thread showing. Once you dress the radiator, you then need to work out the centre point of where you want your radiator to be positioned. Then mark the centre of the radiator onto the centre of the wall. Once you've got your centre point marked on the wall, you'll then need to measure the centre of the left bracket to the centre of the right bracket with a red on its back. After you've worked out what the centre of the brackets comes to, then you need to measure the height from the bottom to the top bracket. Do this by putting a tape measure on the top of the bracket to the top of the bottom bracket with the brackets on the back of the radiator. Now you need to work out the height of the bottom brackets on the wall. Even though we're not using these existing pipes, we still want the radiator to be at the same height. So first of all to do this, you take a measurement from the floor to the centre of the valve outlet. Once you've got the centre point marked on the wall, you then need to measure the distance between the centre point and the centre to the left bracket and centre to the right bracket. Once you've marked your bottom brackets, you'll then need to mark the top ones. Using the measurement you got earlier on, measuring the bottom to the top bracket, mark this on the wall. Using a hammer drill with a 7mm masonry bit, drill and plug the wall. Once the brackets are all screwed up, check the level and then you're then ready for hanging. Now the rad's hung, we need to alter the part work. To do this, you have to drain down the system, pull back the carpet, lift up the floorboards and uncover the pipes. Once your boards are up, cut the pipe under the floor, catching any drips in the container. Attach the valve to the radiator and then you'll know where to mark and cut the floor. Put the valve back onto the radiator and bend the pipes in line. If your pipe is bigger than 10mm, you'll need to use adjoining elbows. Clean your pipes using wire wool and then measure the gap between the two. Measure and cut the joining piece. Then clean the part with wire wool. Apply a small amount of flux to all joining points and fittings. Connect the pipes together, ensuring they are fully inserted. Now you're ready to solder. Using a blowtorch, heat the joint until it's hot enough for the solder to melt. When applying the solder, ensure it runs around the whole fitting. Once you've finished soldering, allow the fitting to set. Then using a wet cloth, wipe away any flux residue and clean the pipe with wire wool. Fit your valve to the radiator and repeat this process for the other side. Once you're happy the pipe work is sound, fire up the boiler and check your radiator is warming up. Once you're happy with this, then put your carpet back down. Using a sharp knife, make a small slice down where the pipe is. Put 
Thank you for watching. For more informative how-to videos, please visit besteating.com.